All right, so FMS sent me one of these 800 millimeter zeros. They've been out a while. This is the V2 version. Um, at first, after watching some videos, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Some of them look like they flew great. Others, uh, not so great. The build on it is more than we normally have today, right? Uh, I had to put on the control horns. I had to put in the uh, uh, control rods, clevises had to be adjusted. Not a big deal. I mean, the whole build just took you know a little bit of time and it's kind of enjoyable. The trickiest part of the whole doggone plane was looking in the documentation, seeing that it says 40 millimeters for center of gravity, but the diagram shows it back more on that, that little you know uh, line right there. So farting around with 3S batteries, a bunch of lead, doing, going back to 2S batteries, settled on 2S and a quarter ounces of lead, which actually gave the center of gravity a little further back. I'll put the exact number uh, here shortly, but that seemed to fly pretty well. I'm going to go through kind of a quick build, highlight a couple areas. I mean, fast. I'm going to do kind of a, 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 a high-speed build on it with just some of my narration. Then we'll go into the flight video, and then at the end, we'll go through kind of final thoughts and how you can enter the drawing to win one of these. Stick around. Let's go through real quick the unboxing, I, and then we'll go into a quick build like this. I'll just fast forward through it all. As all FMS planes, not all, but you know, they're packaged well. This is a little guy. Uh, very clean, easy, uh, all the parts included. I didn't have any surprises. Fuselage look great, no surprises there. I would say you're gonna to wanna to put a little piece of tape on the back of the canopy so you can pull it off. There isn't a latch or anything. I guess you can yank on the antenna, but I'm not. Screwing in the control horns, again, a simple process. Keep note, you know, note that there are only two screws per control horn. One is longer than the other. The long one is gonna go at the hinge point because the foam is thicker. And then the other one is diagonal to that. Uh, and, and you'll figure it out real quick that if they don't go in, you don't have them in the, the right hole area. Uh, but it's a pretty simple process. Attaching the wing, again, as documentation says, push it in. Make it sure it's seated well. And then you're just going to put in two screws. They're the longest screws. FMS typically gives you extra screw in case you drop one. Glue in the tail is pretty simple. Little foam tack brushed on. Prior to that, I cleaned everything with alcohol and poked holes and everything. Keep in mind, once you you know, put the tail in place or the stabilizer in place, make sure it's lined up and parallel with the wing. Other than that, pretty simple. Simple AR420 receiver, not a big deal tricky part was really making getting the battery and everything fit in there so the canopy fit. Uh, I put the ESC on the side and the battery shoved down the middle. Landing gear snaps into place. Pretty sturdy landing gear. Comes off easy if you need to hand toss it. And that's it. Pretty much done. A little tweaking here and there but for the most part it's a very simple build. Not a lot of rudder. A quarter ounce of lead in the nose. <laughs> yeah, great little flyer. <laughs> Ira. 
gates. Let's see if I can. Much better. Time remaining one minute. Earl, I'm gonna have to land here in a bit, unless you're coming in. You're good? All right, I'm gonna dive in here then. Not a lot of rudder authority in this. All right, let me summarize. As I said, the build on it, not a big deal. Uh, yeah, you gotta get a screwdriver and you have to put some glue on it, a couple things, but, it, but it's really a non-issue. The takeoffs were, were simple. Um, some folks were talking about having some difficulty with takeoff, it's kind of a spaz, it's not. I thought it tracked great and it was pretty simple with the 2S. Landings, even, just as well. Little power, normal landing, it's just small plane. Uh, so, you know, just getting the sight of it, and for me at least, judging that distance um, is a little bit harder because I like bigger planes. But it's e it was relatively easy to take off and land. Flyability on 2S, more than enough power. You can do all the loops, uh, rolls, uh, split S, Immelman's, have some fun with it. Flies inverted, fine. Uh, it's just an all around good flying plane for a small plane. Didn't put a gyro in it, plain Jane, 420, uh, Spectrum receiver, nothing fancy about it, decent plane. I don't think it's a beginner plane. I would definitely have some time on it just because, you know, depending how you have it set up, you can get a pretty good roll rate out of it. And so it is a little bit more on the sporty side, I should say. Landings, like they're easy, but you gotta have power. You can't just cut the throttle. You gotta have just a little bit of power and watch it come in. But good plane, good intermediate flyer plane, simple, throw it in the truck, car, and head to the field. Now, stick around on the next part. I'm going to talk about how you can win one of these in an upcoming drawing. Stick around. All right, you want to win this? Pretty simple. First thing, it's only for you folks in the U.S. FMS is only shipping to the U.S. Second, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And somewhere in that comment, you have to say FMS zero, just like I have it here. You can ask questions or do whatever, but somewhere in there it has to say FMS zero because that's what I'm gonna tag off of when I do the random drawing. Once, and I'll do that in probably a week or so, I will reply to the winner's comment and then the winner, you'll see an email that says I commented to your comment or replied to your comment, and I'll have my email address in there. You can shoot me an email. I'll reply back with uh, the codes that you'll need when you enter that. The, you know, the, there'll be two codes, one for shipping and one for the actual plane. So anyway, good luck. Take care.